Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video we are taking a closer look at this harmonic barrel tuner from Eagle Vision. The way that the barrel tuner works is by turning a weight and thereby moving the weight back and forth and thereby reducing the vibrations of the barrel. Here at the bottom you find an adapter. They come in uh, different sizes listed right here so that you're sure that the harmonic barrel tuner fits to your gun. Here at the top you find an insert that uh, matches the caliber of your gun and they come in 177, 22, 25 and 30 cal. But let me start out by showing you how to install it on your gun. It's very very simple. You just remove the moderator Install the harmonic barrel tuner, make it nice and snug, and then you just mount the moderator again, and you're ready to shoot. There are a few things that makes this harmonic barrel tuner from Eagle Vision stand out. One is the way that it's shaped, the way that it's uh, produced, manufactured, uh, and the other thing is the way that it's marked so that you can always see which setting you're at. Another thing that's very nice is that it comes with all the tools that you need and for instance there's a set of o-rings if you by any chance need to uh, change them at some point. But let me show you how it actually works. Now that you have the harmonic barrel tuner installed on your gun, it's time to find out how it works. You can see there, there are numbers here from 1 to 7. This indicates uh, which rotation you're at. And talking about rotations, this is uh, the weight that you are rotating. Um, on this ring there's uh, numbers going from 0 and uh, all the way up to 25 or yeah, it's actually 26 uh, for a full rotation. And then it's just by finding out on uh, which setting you have the best result uh, when you shoot. When I'm performing the test, um, I am starting uh, down here. Uh, I don't want to do uh, seven rotations uh, and uh, with uh, 26 settings on, uh, on, on each rotation because that's going to be a, a lot of shots. So I'm starting right here and that is actually uh, the fourth rotation. It just stops uh, past the, the fifth. And then I am uh, dividing the, the rotation into uh, seven. So the first uh, place that I'll be shooting four shots is uh, here, uh, just past uh, five uh, on zero. And then taking four shots and then rotating it to uh, setting number four, four shots, and then to setting number eight, four shots, and so on. I'll be taking three full rotations and then uh, analyzing it afterwards to see where I get the best results. In case you're wondering why I'm turning the weight back and not forward, uh, like starting from rotation number one towards the seven, it's because uh, if I was to turn it uh, the other way, I might risk that the barrel tuner uh, came loose. And from looking at the numbers on the ring, I actually think that this is uh, how you're supposed to use it. But anyway, let's start the shooting. I have uh, set up a target at, um, at uh, 58 meters. I don't want um, the test to be performed too close because then I can see the differences uh, when I'm at the different settings. And I don't want uh, the range to be too long because, because then there will be some other factors uh, playing in, um, making the results um, not not trustworthy. So uh, I think that uh, 50, uh, 58 meters is a, is a, is a good uh, range. Like I said, I'll take uh, three full rotations and after each rotation I'll take the target and, uh, and analyze it. Today I'll just show you the target and I'll speed up the process very much so we don't have to spend too much time looking at me sitting here shooting. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at the, the first attempt on the fourth rotation. So, back with the 
first rotation it looks like this, where you can see it here. Um, started out hot uh, <laughs> with a four shot group of uh, 0 0.7 and then it, uh, it, uh, it kind of uh, went up. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, but the average group size was uh, 1.94 centimeters. So, yeah, let's uh, go on to the third rotation to see uh, what it looks like and if there's any difference uh, from, uh, from this uh, f first um, um, target we shot at the fourth rotation. And this is a result of the third rotation. And you can see uh, immediately that it is, uh, it's starting to, um, to, to look better. Uh, it, it doesn't have uh, many of these, uh, these big groups, uh, so uh, it seems like it's, uh, it's the right direction. Um, if I was to choose uh, a setting here, it would be uh, on the, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, fifth here at uh, 1.2 but anyway I think we should uh, we should uh, move on and see how it does on the the second rotation because that's the last one that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shoot the average group size is uh, 1.58 centimeters so you can see there's a there's a, a change in the positive direction uh, by turning um, turning the harmonic barrel tuner closer uh, to the muzzle Okay, this is the result of the second rotation or the third attempt and you can see it has uh, uh, made the group much much better now. It has an average group size of uh, 1.45 centimeter uh, and uh, looking at them um, uh, next to each other over here you can see that uh, they are definitely improving. So I could um, do another rotation and perhaps it would uh, it would get better be but my fingers are just starting to to, uh, to freeze so much because it's like uh, seven below zero today so I'm absolutely freezing my fingers um, but that's where you come in and you can do uh, your own testing and see uh, if uh, it, it, uh, it, it starts to make better groups um, if you turn it out or you turn it in but I think that if I'm, I'm to, uh, I am to analyze this, so it's, it's up to me now to see uh, at what setting uh, I'll do my, um, um, my fine tuning. And looking at the rotation number two and three, you can see that um, I'm, I'm, uh, the, the final setting on the rotation number three is at uh, 0 0.9 and then uh, moving on to the second rotation it goes to uh, 1.1 and 1.3 so i think um, in that range is uh, is where i will uh, set my gun and start shooting some groups um, i think that i will start by yeah choosing this uh, uh, the first like the the zero on the second rotation so that means turning it um, out one full rotation to where I stopped and then I'll see um, uh, how it performs by shooting some um, some groups now I'm done with the final part of the testing and it went better than I actually expected. I've been shooting here at, uh, at what, 100 meters or 109 yards and um, instead of just focusing on the setting that I ended up with uh, when uh, going through the rotations, uh, I focused on um, 
just uh, the the area around setting that I pointed out. So instead of just being on zero, I went down to uh, to 24 and I went up to uh, um, 02. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, and actually, it performed uh, the best exactly where I ended the test uh, on the rotations. And you can see the results here. Um, in the lower left corner, you can see that there are some sh some ciders and you can see that uh, I shot three groups of 2.5 centimeters. Um, I, I would say that uh, that is uh, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good result. Some of you who's been following me for a while might say that well, you usually uh, shoot groups below two centimeters, and and that's true. Uh, but um, my experience is that uh, when the weather starts to get colder, uh, I have um, some difficulty getting uh, as good groups as I'm shooting in the, in the summer. So. Three groups of uh, um, of 2.5 centimeters uh, on the same um, target here. That is uh, that's very impressive. So yeah, the harmonic barrel tuner from Eagle Vision is definitely passing the test. We are closing in on the end of the video, so uh, remember to follow me both on uh, on uh, Facebook and on on Instagram, and of course remember to. Press that button down in your right corner. It's the subscribe button to make my channel grow so I can make more of these videos to you. So with that said, that is the end of the video. So until next time, take care and shoot safe.